Welcome back to Windows Fixer. Today's tutorial is all about bypassing NRO on Windows 11. Now, after my last video, a lot of people commented saying the OOB command is not working anymore and asked for an alternative method. Some even mentioned using registry tweaks and other workarounds, but honestly, I don't think that's needed. So I thought, let's test it out again and see for ourselves. Right now, I've got my VMware machine open, where I just installed a fresh latest Windows 11 ISO, and I'm currently on the screen where it asks for a Microsoft account. Now, if I click on Sign In, there's no option to create a local account. And if I disconnect the internet and go back, it shows this message. Oops, you've lost internet connection. Let's try now and see if the method still works. First of all, press Shift plus F10 on your keyboard. If you're using a laptop or a smaller keyboard layout, then press Shift plus Fn plus F10 to open up the command prompt. Now type explorer.exe and hit enter. Once File Explorer is open, double click on Network from the left side panel near the bottom, or you can also right click on it and go into its properties. On the left side panel, click on Change Adapter Settings. Here you'll see your Ethernet adapter. Right click on it and make sure to disable it. Once it's disabled, close everything. Now click on Try Again. It will probably ask you to install drivers and maybe even bring up the File Explorer window where you can install them from a USB or any other disk. But we'll skip that and move on without installing anything. Once again, press Shift plus F10 to reopen the command prompt. Now type this command carefully. Make sure there's no space between it. ubi slash bypass nrow. You can copy it from the description and paste it into the command prompt if that makes it easier. After pressing enter, your PC will restart. By the way, I'm trying this inside VMware, but the ISO I'm using is the latest one. So don't worry, this will work just fine on a physical PC as well. Once your system restarts and Windows loads up completely, it'll take you back to the account section. Now go through the basic setup. Choose your country or region, then click next. Select your keyboard layout, usually US, then click Yes, and skip the second layout if asked. Now it will say, let's connect you to a network. Just wait a moment. You'll again see the message asking to install drivers, but now if you look closely, you'll notice a new option appears. I don't have internet. You know, click on it. Boom, you're good to go. Now choose a name for your local account, then hit Next. Set a password, confirm it, choose security questions, and proceed. Windows will now start setting things up for you. Once everything is ready and you're on the desktop, the last step is to turn your internet back on. Click the Start Windows icon, go to Settings, then Network and Internet, head to Advanced Network Settings, and from there enable your network adapter again. Once enabled, you're back online and there won't be any further issues. Everything works just fine without needing a Microsoft account. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, smooth, and easy to follow. If yes, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye.